Hello everyone, my name is Riley Pollard and I'm a senior in the AIM program covering International Consumer Discretionary. Today I will be pitching Simpress, ticker CMPR. I found Simpress while screening for consumer stocks with unrecognized growth potential. I wanted to pitch a stock with reputable and recognizable names and I found Simpress to be the perfect value story in the midst of the current pandemic. Simpress is an online supplier of graphic design services and customized printed products to small businesses and consumers. Their portfolio consists of more than a dozen businesses where they offer products through five segments, Vistaprint, Upload and Print, National Pen, Bill Design, and early stage businesses. They derive the majority of their revenue from the U.S. and Germany, with revenue exposure to other countries as well. Simpress was founded in 1995 and began trading under the name Vistaprint in 2005. They're headquartered in Dundalk, Ireland. Now, on to my recommendation. Simpress is a world leader in mass customization. This business model allows them to deliver large volumes of individually small-sized customized orders for low cost and has helped them grow at a CAGR of 13.6% over the past decade, from $700 million in revenue to over $2.5 billion. Their decentralized organizational structure allows them to serve customers with speed and nimbleness that is not typical of larger firms. This structure aided their ability to proactively react to the COVID-19 virus and allowed them to pivot their manufacturing towards masks, face shields, and social distancing signage. While this pivot helped revenues, Simpress did not come out of the height of the pandemic unscathed. On June 30th, Simpress's 2020 fiscal year end, they reported a 10% decrease in revenues and nearly a 60% decline in operating margin. While they've owned this setback, it is important to recognize the record performance they've recorded before the pandemic hit full force. In February 2020, their trailing 12-month EBITDA had grown 23% since fiscal 19, with their adjusted free cash flow growing over 44%. They recorded trailing 12-month constant currency organic growth of 3%, and their ROIC was the highest it had been since 2011. Pre-pandemic, when Simpress was recording record performance, the company was focusing on a transformation journey behind the scenes. They made progress operationally by launching new e-commerce technologies and innovative new products, while expanding their bill design production facilities. Financially, they permanently removed $30 million of annualized costs from their cost structure. The actions Simpress took during their transformation did not have a chance to be fully realized before the pandemic hit. For these reasons, it is recommended that Simpress be added to the AIM International Equity Fund with a price target of $126.39, representing a potential upside of 57.42%. Now, I will move on to my drivers. My first driver is Build a Dollar Sign Acquisition. Simpress completed their acquisition of Build a Sign LLC in October 2018 for $275 million. Build a Sign had a strong year both before and during the pandemic. Notably, it is the only Simpress business component that grew in the last four months of fiscal 20. Revenues grew nearly 38% from fiscal 19 to February 2020, and then an additional 3% during the height of the pandemic, to close fiscal 20 with 42% revenue growth. With the recent expansion to build a science production facilities, the company is prepared to grow along with increasing customer demand. My next driver is mass customization is attracting the masses. The shift from traditional to mass customized models is accelerating and Simpress is primed to take advantage. The custom t-shirt printing market is expected to grow at a CAGR of 9.6% until 2027, with the personalized gifts market growing at a CAGR of 9% until 2023. Consumers want the control that customization provides, but companies that custom produce their product lines are charging major premiums. These traditional companies lack the scale advantages and flexibility that Simpress has. Achieving a large product variety while also having co being cost efficient has taken them nearly two decades, immense volume, and significant engineering investments. As more companies and consumers embrace mass customization, Simpress will remain a front runner. My third driver is e-commerce expansion. Online spend with U.S. retailers grew 30.1% or $60.42 billion year over year during the first six months of 2020, accelerating the 20-year megatrend from offline to online. E-commerce is, is expected to make up 25% of total retail sales by 2025. In fiscal 20, Simpress launched new e-commerce technologies and invested in cutting-edge and best-in-class technology, focusing heavily on their Vistaprint segment. As a primarily online retailer, Simpress will benefit from the transition to online shopping. Now, I will move on to my valuation. 
In order to reach an intrinsic value for Simpress, I constructed a five-year DCF model using a terminal growth rate of 1.5% and a WAC of 9.13%, I reached an intrinsic value of $121.42. A sensitivity analysis of plus or minus 50 basis points and the terminal growth rate and the WAC ranged from $109.51 to $136.96. Furthermore, a PE valuation was completed using a pure PE multiple of 49.8 times it reached a relative value of $160.65. And finally, an EBITDA EBITDA multiple valuation was constructed using an EBITDA EBITDA multiple of 23.65 times that resulted in a relative value of $131.87. By weighing the three models 80, 10, 10, a price target of $126.39 was reached, representing a 57.42% upside. Simpress does not currently pay a dividend. Next up is risks. The first risk that Simpress faces is their COVID-19 recovery. Simpress's fiscal 20 quarter four performance was heavily impacted by the current pandemic. While the recovery has begun, it could be threatened by a second wind. Their second risk is debt. In April 2020, Simpress took on $300 million in debt in order to provide ample flexibility to waiver the COVID-19 pandemic. This resulted in negative shareholders' equity. While Simpress plans to pay down debt with excess cash in fiscal 21, any delays could be detrimental to Simpress's growth. The last risk is competition. Simpress faces intense competition in the commercial printing and customization businesses. Simpress must constantly and rapidly improve the value they are delivering to consumers. Robert Keane is the founder, CEO, and chairman of Simpress. After earning a bachelor's in economics from Harvard College, he spent nine years in management consulting Sean Quinn, who serves as EVP and Chief Financial Officer, has been with Simpress since 2009. Martin joined Simpress in 2011 upon their acquisition of Album Printer, and he serves as EVP and Chief Technology Officer. Martin joined the startup Album Printer after selling the six-year-old company he started when he was 25. Thank you all for listening. I think that Simpress is a company that was challenged by COVID-19, but will come out on top. Now is our time to invest in a great company with strong growth prospects at a great price. If you have any questions, please ask them in the D2L discussions or on Teams this Friday. Thanks.